Hello guys, Tony Kami here. Welcome to my Android 2 Min tutorials. We've learnt about linear layouts, but that's not the only one. In this tutorial we'll cover relative layouts. So what is relative layout? The children of a relative layout are displayed relative to each other. So you can specify stuff like, hey text view element, always be to the left of this button view element. You can't achieve this type of control of linear layout. So let's start things off. Create a default project and you should see it should automatically create a relative layout for you. Delete the tool's namespace and the context. We'll cover them in future tutorials. Let us quickly run through its components. It has a namespace. As I covered before, this lets Android Studio know which elements we are working with. It has a width and height set to match parent, which means the children can take up the space of the whole screen. Something we haven't covered is padding. What it does is it creates a space between the children and the edge of the screen. So these will create a space of 16 dp to the left, right, top and bottom of the screen. That's all for our relative layout. Let's add some children. Create a text view and call it name. Make the height and width wrap content. Create another text view and call this one footer. Then an edit text which fills the width of the screen. Finally, create a button and make it wrap its content. As you can see, they've been added with no structure. So remember, in relative layout, structure is added by defining how elements relate to each other. We first have to give each element a name, and we do that by setting the ID property. Do that for all the elements. And now we can make this look good. Make the edit text always appear to the right of the text view like so. And now let's tell the button to be under the edit text. We can also tell the elements what to do inside the parent. For example, we can make the button align to the right, like that, and also make the footer text view align to the bottom too. That's it for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching.